In a few moments, five new housemates are going to move in, followed closely by a whopping sting in the tail. Brother, our mantra tonight is this out with the old and in with the new. In just a moment, we're going to say hello to five box fresh, never been used before, gleaming housemates. And later on, we're going to say goodbye to One Big Brother 10 original when they're kicked out in the seventh eviction of 2009, having spent literally moments, only moments, getting to know their new arrivals. It's going to be so frustrating. As I speak these words, the housemates are gathered in the sitting room, and as far as they're concerned, tonight's a perfectly normal eviction. What they don't know is that they're about to be ambushed by a bunch of newbies. Hold on. Itchy ankle. Had to get the shoes in, sorry. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, it's new housemate number one! I'm young, I'm rich, I'm powerful, I'm beautiful. And I got Carly on my own. People say that I'm dating Carly, but to be honest, Carly's dating me. Carly says she likes men with money. All I could say is, even if she's with me for the wrong reasons, trust me on this, she makes me really, really happy. <laughs> Just look at that ass. <laughs> she has one killer body on her. I obviously wear the trousers in the relationship because I'm pay picking up the bill every single time. Business is business. I grew up in New York, grew up in Hong Kong, and spent the last 10 years of my life in Scotland. The money is everything to me, and it defines me. I live, sleep, eat, think about it. What, 25,000? This honestly isn't showing up for the camera, but I just like to walk around with a bit of money. Six or seven grand, it's, when I took it out, it was 10, but I spent it all. Yeah, it's my everything. You got the money for other? My most extravagant purchase is my $3.8 million apartment in Hong Kong, and only the best for me. I'm, an, I'm a born hustler, and whatever I do, I'll make a few dollars out of it. I know Carly's up for eviction this week, but Big Brother is such a unique experience, something money cannot buy. Uh, even if she wasn't there, I'd still give it a go. TV gold. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Carly's boyfriend, Kenneth! He's been fantastically booed. Big Brother's asked him for his job title, and just to confirm, he called, he asked himself to be called a self-employed international playboy. His motto is, if it doesn't make money, it doesn't make sense. His favourite food is caviar. They're on basic rations this week. He's going to have a bit of a problem there. He hates the phrase game plan. He's going to have a problem there as well. He thinks hell would look like Glasgow. As we can I'm going to like that. Smoking offends him. What about Carly? And he would least like to find swine flu in the house. He's milking it there. Take on the mic. The crowd aren't right. sure. But in he goes, two steps at a time, very confident. It's Carly's boyfriend, Kenneth. <laughs> this is it. Oh, the famous lounge. It's all wet out there. Which way do I go? That's where they are. <laughs> it's open. Oh, I said oh, so. Hi. How are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Sure. Shut up. <laughs> what are you doing? How are you doing? Oh, oh, my God. God. How are you doing? No, oh, my God. 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 I know your friend Chelsea White. Nice oh, to meet you. Um, he's nice. nice to meet you. Oh, Look at her. Oh, She's like, you alright? Oh, oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, 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 I thought there was a new house name. What are you doing? What are you doing? You idiot. Just a bit of fun. Um, oh, what is it? Is there anyone else? Huh? Is there anyone else? Oh, 
came, came all the way out from New York for this. Um, oh my god! How what? Oh, what's going on? Kenny, okay. what's going on? What is oh, this? What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> oh, what a shocker. Do you want an aftershock? His housemate number two. I'm a bohemian. Doesn't that just mean you're a little bit lazy? No. <laughs> a little bit lazy. I don't know why I keep getting fired. I don't think it's my personality, and I don't think I'm that stupid either. I don't want to be in recruitment long term. I would like to be a stylist. I would like to be a life coach. I would like to have a vintage clothes shop in Ibiza. Just my lovely clothes. My magic mushroom dress. This is my favourite. Mm. <laughs> you go through friends quite quickly. Do I? I don't think I put that on my form. What happened to the friends that you had the orgy with? <gasps> oh, no, don't talk about that. Regrettable. Yeah. I don't think that monogamy is very healthy. I don't think that it makes people happy, and I don't think it's what we're supposed to do. Eventually, I'd like to live in a, like a commune, I suppose, where you kind of cohabit. The way forward is to love lots of people. Ladies and gentlemen, it's new housemate B! <laughs> She was Iggy Pop's daughter for two years. You know, I would have believed that. She's been fired from every job she's ever had. Her nickname's Bumble. She says she's a child of the 80s and of the universe. She's offended by science fiction. And she gets angry when people turn a blind eye on a micro and a macro level. What does that mean? The most insulting thing that anyone could say to her is, I've got that dress. In she goes, it's B. Okay, just want to point out that some of the housemates have met during the audition process. Just want to make that clear. It's very exciting though, isn't it? From their audition on a cold winter's day to their entrance from an executive car on a cold summer's night. It's the stuff of Big Brother Fantasies. Housemate number three, your time is now. Hello? 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 I just like being branded as gay because there's all different kinds of gays. But you're gay? Yeah, so what? If you've got a lard ass and someone calls you lard ass, you're not going to be happy about it. You're not going to check them on and say, oh, thanks. I am who I am. It's got nothing to do with anybody else. I've actually done the same job for 15 years. I work in a factory in Bradford, West Yorkshire, and we sort clothing for third world countries. Well, I go to England on a Monday and a Thursday, and when I shout, I really shout loud, BINGO! And I'll shout, UP YOUR FLAPS! <laughs> I spend money what I haven't got on clothing for the fact that I only wear designer mate, that's my addiction. Rub your hands and clap your knees. If someone just walks in and like a plain t-shirt and jeans, to me they've not made an effort. You know, I like to walk in and I like to see your heads go, wow. I do love Vivian Westwood. She's like my God, she's like my Jesus. She's just like everything I pray for in life. Oh, I'm gorgeous anyway, so what can I say? Why are you wearing a seatbelt? A pardon? It's what you call a bondage top. This is how I dress when I go down late. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's new housemate David! 
What an exit. Amazing. Full of life. His saddest moment was being dumped in Wigan. People say he looks like Greg Rosetsky and Tom Cruise. He'd be a fox. It's not a dog. Oh dear. He goes to bingo twice a week with his 80-year-old friend Doris. And then he goes to the housey housey. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. Hello! How are you? Nice to meet you. Welcome. Nice to meet you. I'm David. Marcus. Hi, Dog Face. Hi, Sivash. Nice to meet you, mate. You got mine? Nice to meet you, darling. Nice to meet you, B. I'm Charlie. Oh, gorgeous. Nice to meet you, Noreen. Oh, Lisa! I've got you a present in my pocket. Nice to meet you, Alan. Nice to meet you. It's been an amazing trip, honestly. I bet you said, because we're so. Oh, did you say he said hello, gorgeous, to Charlie in particular? Rodrigo's going to get jealous. Okay, it's time now for the much coveted place of the penultimate place in the proceeding. It's housemate number four. It's easy to be anything and say anything if daddy's always going to give no you some No way, money. no way. So, give me a chance, I'll prove to you. I'm not just, like, a daddy's girl or anything. When I was living with my parents, life was quite easy. I, I never knew the words struggling. Now I'm ready to face the world on my own. I am originally from Pakistan. I got married and I moved here. Was it an arranged marriage? Sort of. Love and arrange both. <laughs> We're actually related, so I of course knew him from since I was a little kid. I've only been here for about a year now, but life is so much better. I mean, if I go back in the past, it reminds you of a lot of things that you just, you know, couldn't do there easily. And oh my God, I mean, I'm so grateful to God for giving me so much now. I am quite ambitious and um, the reason why I want to work hard and get somewhere is because there are a lot of women in my country who do not have any hope. Wherever you aim, you can certainly get there, you know, if you really do believe in yourself, and I do. And that's why I'm here. Ladies and gentlemen, it's new housemate, Hira! She's been booed before she even got out of the car. That's quite spectacular. She calls herself a socialist. Her husband is also her cousin. She's a Muslim and she prays five times a day. And her least favorite word is the F word. So Sirvash and Hira will be getting on rather well, I would imagine. She says she's half vegetarian. I'm not sure if there is such a thing, but she says she is because she eats chicken once or twice a week. That's along with the rest of the nation. She hates staying up late. She says she's a girl with a vision for the suppressed woman in her society. Jolly good. And her worst nightmare is to be locked in a room with dogs. In she goes. It's Hera. <sighs> I'm so excited. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Yeah, okay, to paraphrase Europe, the 80s soft rock legends. It's the final housemates. Your arms look a bit puny. <laughs> That's kind of you to notice. <laughs> Use your arms for everything, don't you, you know? And people come up to me and say, how big are your biceps? And I say, honestly, mate, I'm not a fucking loser. I don't sit there with a the tape measure and measure them. Two tickets to the gun show. <laughs> I got a house in Mallorca, and uh, I got talking to a guy there, and he asked me to run his business in Porting Yachts. Well, I've got my skipper's licence. Would you say you're impossible? Uh, yeah, actually. Tom Beastie, eat your food. All right. I was going out with a girl from Newcastle, and she called me Posh Tom, but we're not all tossers. I would consider myself a successful ladies' man. All my friends will say, oh, Tom was a player. I'd sort of back myself. I think I'd probably try and punch above my weight more than I should, but can't knock a guy for trying, can you? Compared to some vain bloke, I'm not vain at all. A bit fat at the moment, but all poor and paid for. <laughs> Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, it's new housemate Tom! Crunch makes him angry. I'd say the rest of the nation are along with him on that. And the family describe him as the prodigal son. People say he looks like Anthony from Blue. A very pumped up Anthony from Blue. He goes to Midnight Mass to meet people. And he says, life is a good book, so make it interesting for the reader. That bodes well, doesn't it? The big brother, that's good. He usually gets a smooch on nights out, but is currently going through a dry patch. He attracts older women. The thing that makes him cringe is seeing himself on camera. Does he know what he's letting himself in for? In he goes, it's Tom. Fuck around. <laughs> Not too intimidating. Yeah. It's a lot cleaner than I thought it would be. How are you guys? Marcus. You're up. Hi, man. Sophie. You well? Bagging. All right, see you about today. How are you doing? Tom, Tom, Tom. Charlie, how are you, man? You well? Here you go. How are you? I know. Hey. Hello, I'm Bea. I'm Bea. Hi, Tom. Nice to meet you. <laughs> OK, so we've got Kenneth, Carly's millionaire boyfriend. We've got Hippie Dippy student B, Northern clothes horse David, Princess Hera and Posh Totty Tom. They're all settling in. One housemate's about to be booted out. Join me for the seventh eviction of the series after the break. Hello and welcome back to Big Brother. So, basically a squadron of new housemates have marched into the Big Brother house, but four of the original housemates are now in the firing line. Which one of them is about to reach a grisly end? I am now going to talk to the house. Big Brother House, this is Davina. Please do not swear. Dogface, Carly, Noreen, me, and Sirvash. The lines are closed. The votes have been counted and verified. And I can now reveal that the seventh person to be evicted from the Big Brother House is Noreen. Carly! Oh, no! Oh, oh no! God! No! Mm. Don't cry! That's not fair, is it? Maybe not cry! That was the ultra. They did that on purpose. They did that on 
purpose. Sorry, it totally shocked me. They did it on purpose. They <laughs> fuck with all of us. Oh, Carly, it's now time for you to say your goodbyes. I'm coming to get you. Carly, enjoy it. Enjoy every minute. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> That's just, that's cruel. That's actually really cruel. That's the cruelest thing they've ever done. It's the cruelest thing brothers. Oh my god. Say bye to Say bye to Oh. All right. Four, two, please. Come here, Emily. Can you stay on top? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Carl, you have been a victim. Enjoy your time. Please leave, big brother. Carl, you've been evicted. Please leave, big brother. Carl, you've been evicted. Please leave, the big brother house. Carl, you've been evicted. Please leave, the big brother house. Treasure and longtime Big Brother fan Kathy Burke. And joining us as well, behavioural expert, the lovely Judy James. <laughs> but first of all, I think we're all in shock. Yeah. Carly, Carly, oh. Carly, your boyfriend is in the house and you're not. It is my luck. I have got no luck. And Do it's just typical. I mean, where was he? He's cut, has he not come from the States to come and be, do he this? Went to, he, he, um, when I came in, he says he was going to go to America for a bit because we lived in Scotland. And then he's just appeared here tonight and then I've left. And what, what were you talking about? Did you have any moments together on your own when he went in? Um, when he came in, I couldn't believe it. The, everybody just says... You're in um, shock. You're like... There's a new house, mate. And I went, where? And I looked and it took me a second and I looked again and I was like, it's my boyfriend, it's my boyfriend. And I started screaming and then and it hit me. I'm going to go. I know that I'm, I'm going to go. But, you know, yeah. we didn't know that it was your boyfriend going in, so the fact that you got, you didn't get voted out as some horrible, yeah, vindictive yeah. thing that the public have done to you, it was just you've been voted out because you've been voted out. Now, listen, when we asked Kenneth if he'd like to take part in Big Brother, we explained to him that there was a possibility that you might get voted out tonight. Yeah. And before we could even ask him would he still like to do it, he went, yes, I still want to do it. Does that surprise you? Oh, no. Nothing surprises me with him at all. He's, he's just one of those kind of guys. He's just one of the, I said, I had a conversation with Lisa the day, I think it was, and I said to Lisa, I says, um, oh, they said, imagine if your boyfriend could come in because we got prizes for our tokens. Yes. I says, oh, if, if Kenneth come in here, he would, like, mess this place up. He would tell, put everybody in line. Great. And he's in. Sounds he good. He will just yep. change the it show doesn't... completely. And do you know what you asked for? You didn't ask for Kenneth, you asked for two packets of cigarettes. Bags. <laughs> and two. you did that. And if you know the thing is, I was thinking, 
ask for a carton. Mm. I'll, I'll, you this said that I'm not greedy. She started off with. Yeah, no, it's brilliant. No. I just wanted one fuck. <laughs> just no one. Fuck, just <laughs> one. <laughs> um, now, Judy, what do you think? What kind of impact do you think the new housemates are going to have? You've seen them go in. I mean, obviously the house had got divided into two factions and they were turning into warring factions. Um, the only thing that always will then combine two factions like that is when you get what's called an external irritant, which is where they feel that they're under attack from something external. And then you get what's called in-group bias, so they kind of bond together. So in actual fact, it could take the original housemates and make them a lot closer. The only thing is there's a lot of strategic players in there at the moment. And they could be ready to pick off any people that they feel might be right for their army. I mean, Halfwit in particular, he needs an army at the moment, so mm. he's probably waiting on the doorstep to nab them as soon as they come in. And if be there's anybody a bit half witty in there, you know, like a quarter Tom, wit or something Tom like that. Tom's a quarter wit. A quarter no, wit is exactly what he's looking for. With massive muscles. Quarter wit with muscles. What more does he want? He's Brilliant. only a tenant. Perfect. Yeah. Um, so, Carly, are you surprised? Why are you sat here over the others? Why do you think you're here? My mouth, maybe. We love your mouth, actually. We're going to talk a bit more about your mouth a little bit later on. But do you think, do you think the public made the right decision? Um, I, I do, really. I mean, I, I, I sort of like Noreen. I think she's all right, really. And Noreen has been getting quite a hard time. But, um, but I think your downfall was teaming up with Lisa, yeah. really. Because Lisa, she doesn't really do much, and she sits and smokes, and she moans, and she talks about the other housemates a mm. lot. And unfortunately... Yeah. You were a pal, My so buddy. <laughs> it was like we couldn't get rid of Lisa, so we got rid of you. I'm afraid. And I think you're with you're with Kathy. Yeah, that, I mean, it, it was almost a battle of the two lieutenants with you and Noreen. And I mean, that's I what know. you'd become with Lisa. Once Chris left, you kind of aligned with Lisa, and because she's very powerful in the house, you became her lieutenant. Now that made you extra vulnerable. It might have felt like strength, but in actual fact, mm. she's not a popular house leader. When you get an established group, they don't like to attack the leader, though, because it means that it creates chaos. You get a power vacuum. Um, and so you were the next one, and you were the handiest one, and you were an easy target, so really. So you made Lisa, yourself really vulnerable. They got to Carly. Yeah, absolutely. What was it that you liked about Lisa? Because she must have had good... You know, she, good she smoked, and so did I. I liked to go to the garden, just get away from the nut house for a minute. And really, she was older, and just somebody that you could have, like, a mature conversation with, just, like, calm... For a minute. I mean, that was kind of her catchphrase, you know, heart to heart, garden, mm, now, yeah. quick fag, you know, yeah. let me get yeah. me backy. And that's so... what she used to do. It's quite a good way of winning everybody over, really. But she's quite intimidating when she gets angry. You don't want to cross Lisa, do you? Um, or she could argue and argue and argue, but she's, she has tried to step back a bit, kind of, and she's, she, there was an argument the other, I think it was yesterday, in the bedroom where I was not but I heard her. Like for the other room, so oh, she, can, with half wit. she can't argue. It was with half wit, yeah, mm. she really can. Now, listen, Judy, you got a piece of footage that um, illustrates why you think the other housemates are suspicious, uh, are worse suspicious of Carly. Let's have a look. <sighs> Starting for the morning, I'm unhealthy eating because I need to fit into my fucking dress to get out. Putting whites on? Hmm? Do you put whites on if you eat? Not sure, I. No, I don't no. feel that you've changed. It's just me. I feel off a, like, ugh, roly poly. I mean, but she's that, not saying anything. The point there is, um, it's what you're seeing as opposed to what you're hearing. Now, you weren't actually bitching there, but your problem was looks, you look like you were. I look like were. a bitch. I look like a bitch. That <laughs> and that's it. the point. You look like a bitch, which then becomes threatening to the rest of the house. <laughs> so I mean, they can't look, hear you. They're inside. Your weight, but you've got this expression of disgust on your face. You've got the fags on the turf. You look like you're planning kind of to dominate everybody in the house. So they would have felt very threatened just by your body language alone. On the other hand you've got other people more strategic in the house that did it the other way round who we're going to see in a minute well let's have a look at that actually Absolutely. because you, we want to have a quick look now about how halfwit actually gets away with his scheming a lot more than you do have a look at this and then lisa was like laughing and like said something about oh like, are you suckers like when you take them off if it hurts you mm. and i was just like what the hell do you mean like we're not suckers we're team players and she's like, well, I'm a team player, but blah, 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 it hurt. And I was just like, no, like, that's revealing. Yeah. That's what a sucker is somebody who goes along with shit when they didn't have to because they could have been sneaky and got away with it. Yeah. That's what the word sucker means.
I mean, listen and learn from that, because that guy's doing industrial strength bitching. It's assassination going on there. But if you look at his body language, his eyebrows are up, his eyes are wide open. I mean, he's giving it all this, but he just looks like he's going off on one of his kind of hippie rants. So anybody walking past would have just thought he's, he's chatting. Whereas walking past you, they'd have thought, oh, gosh, she's having a go at me. Mm. So you were kind of fueling their paranoia, unfortunately, in there. I mean, this week, your, your opinion slightly changed of Halfwit, didn't it? Aye. It did. He was, um, he changes a lot. Yes. Um, his moods go up and down, just everything changes with him. But this week, he was quite quiet, he was quite relaxed. And I didn't find him irritating, and he's the most irritating guy I've met in my life. <laughs> and, um, no, I, Do you I think just... that's come with confidence? Halfwit. Changing. I think his confidence grew every time he yeah. stayed in. After yeah. eviction, he got this airy confidence about him and thought, oh, I'm just going to stay every week on this. But I think this week he kind of calmed down a bit and I, that's why I didn't find him so irritating. But Cathy's met some people a bit like Halfwit, haven't you? <laughs> yes. Yeah, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think... Do you like him? I do like Halfwit, actually, because I like it when there are pretty extreme characters in yes. the house. That's what I like. But I also think you guys were probably starting to like him because even though you don't know what's going on in the outside, I do think you'd be a little bit subconsciously influenced by the fact that he kept on being kept in. Yes. So then obviously you knew that the public were really liking him and maybe it allowed you to see that, that you could Different. like him as oh, well. Yeah, that's... Interesting. Does that make yeah, sense? no, it yeah. completely does. That yeah. that because he's more popular on the outside, it's just making him more popular on the inside. Yeah, because he's kind of I just glowing. think it seeps through. Yeah, you know? definitely. Yeah, he definitely. is turning into Robert De Niro from Taxi Driver. Though. He That's is. The only thing. He is. <laughs> or American <laughs> History X. Yeah. <laughs> um, now, Marcus, let's talk about you and Marcus. Oh. Go on. Danny Spill Gandhi's the beans. Started. <laughs> Why? Gandhi's Why? Started. As I've said before, I think he's a disgusting, grotty pig. <laughs> I do. I've never. I just. What do you really think, though, Carly? <laughs> no, really. Oh, honestly, it's just he plays this act like he's Mr. Sensitive and he's really caring and he likes women and stuff like that. But really, all I hear out his mouth is vulgarity, swear words, stories about people fighting. And for me, I've not got any time for that at all. And you've got quite a theory on. Um... It, it was, I mean, I'm all for what you're saying, but it was a bit of a problem for you. It made you, again, quite vulnerable, because he's what's called an aspirational alpha, a really old-fashioned, it's almost like an alpha ape in there, which means that his power comes from physical power and also the fact that all the girls are supposed to at least show that they fancy him. Oh. And, I mean, obviously, you were the only one that didn't in any way show at all no. do mm. any flirting with him, and I think that kind of dented his status, and you made... A, a powerful enemy at that point. <laughs> now, let's get, move on to happier things, because uh, you were possibly our most Scottish housemates we have ever had. <laughs> um, aye, aye. Um, have a look at this. <laughs> oh, you've given me the one that I didn't ken. Ken what I'm saying, like? <laughs> I didn't even ken you were there. Yeah, I don't know what she's talking about. We're just in the gift, then. <laughs> she's not on your day. I did ken. But no. What does they can mean? Then he listen to a word that Matt says, cos he talks constant pish. I wonder if they do put subtitles up for me sometimes. What in there? I'm like, great. Stop hanging up that. Gotta be shit in the morning. His breath is absolutely hoaching. It gives me the book. <laughs> <laughs> what, what does give me, gives me the book mean? It makes you feel sick. Gives me the book. Like book. Book. that. Brilliant. And listen, did you realise your accent's that strong? Well... When you're angry, it gets even stronger. I love it. The thing is, I, I forget where I am and I feel like I'm in Scotland all the time and people should just understand me. So now I've got my posh voice on so people can understand. But that's who I am. I don't have a posh accent and everybody that in my town speaks like that. So it's just, it's just natural for me. And... What are you going to do with your new fan fame? What do you want to do now you've left? I don't even feel like anybody knows who I am. I feel like they nobody's do. been watching me. They so have. A couple of people. I think I'll be shell-shocked for a few weeks. Yeah. And then I might decide. <laughs> and I just want to ask you, Cathy, who do you think's going to win? I don't know. <clears throat> I hope Sia Vash wins. You like Sia Vash? I think Sia Vash is just fantastic. I love him. I hope he's got a harem 
I want to be part of it. Oh, I can sort that out. Oh. I'll have words when he comes I, out. I just think he's so cool. I think he's wonderful. Listen, Carly, thank you for being such a great housemate. You were fantastically entertaining. We're so sorry to have ripped you away from oh. your boyfriend like that. Hear your best bits. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's Carly! I'm just so happy. I'm having a great time. <laughs> I think she's lovely, but you know, she's a dead nice laugh. Me and Carly have become really good friends. No! You are now a housemate. Yeah! Just an achievement getting you in the first place. I do like an Anna Summers outfit. Sweat until my clothes come off. We've got those things in common. I get on really well, then like, I feel really close to and stuff. Um, mentally and physically drained. I couldn't cope with another day like the day in here. I'm not You just to... bug me. You bug the shit out of me. Whoever's instigated that or said that is a little fucking bastard. Fa la 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 la. Brandy, shut up! <laughs> really, really enjoyed it. I, I can't even pick a specific moment. The whole thing has been good for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's been fun. I've had such a great time here. It's been brilliant. This has been the best experience in my life. Carly's out and Kenneth, B, David, Hera and Tom are settling in for the evening and the summer. I can't, I still can't believe it. Um, and that's that. Well, actually, no, no. Not as far as Big Brother's concerned, actually. Anyone up for spoiling the newbie's fun? Yeah. Thought so. Big Brother will be doing just that after the break. <laughs> Welcome back. Right, so the original housemates and the new housemates are just relaxing and getting to know each other. Tom's being led round like a puppy by all of the girls and Rodrigo. But one newbie is in for a bit of a shock. So it's time now to hand it over to Big Brother. <laughs> and I was like, this don't look real. I, you know, even though it's a big. I was like, oh, God. Do we have to wash in cold water for a week? Yeah. Well, we've got no hot water at the moment. We've got to win some tokens. So. I know we're going to go for top. That year? I need to wash the makeup. Alcohol all the time, you see. Did they do makeup today? Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. With one new housemate, come to the dining room. New housemate. Quick. Kenny, quick. Quick. <laughs> I don't want to slip. <sighs> Who has it? You want to do it? Yeah. Okay, go on then. Whoever hits the thing. Yeah, yeah, cool. Okay then, okay. Oh my god, my nail! It broke! What do I do? Do I wait? Oh, my nail! It's okay. How do I get inside? Hera, you must slide the door open. Oh, sorry. Forgot. And then shut in myself? Hiya. How are you? Hello, Hera. Hiya. How are you doing? Welcome to the Big Brother house. Thank you. How are you feeling? Awesome. I feel fantastic. Seriously, I've never had this feeling ever before. It's so surreal. It's fabulous. I, I just love each minute of it and I'm enjoying it totally. Hera? Yeah? You must listen very carefully to what Big Brother is okay. about to say. Earlier tonight, you, B, David, Kenneth and Tom became housemates. Okay. That's the good news. Don't give me the bad news. Hmm? The bad news is that currently 
you and all the new housemates face eviction next Friday. Aww. Do you understand? Yeah. That's all sad. The only way you can save yourselves is if all five of you successfully complete a joint secret mission. And what is that? Your secret mission is as follows. That sucks. In front of you is a box containing eight balls. Each ball corresponds to one of the current original housemates. In a moment, Big Brother will ask you to draw two balls from the box. The two housemates whose names are on the ball you pull out must be nominated for eviction next week. Mm -hmm. If you ensure that they are nominated, you and all the new housemates will avoid the public vote. Can Do you, you repeat understand? that line again? Just the last one, sorry. To clarify, yeah. if you ensure yeah. that the housemates whose names you pull out yeah. are nominated for eviction, they will face the public vote okay. instead of you. Okay. Okay. Mm. Here goes. Do I start? Please put your hand in the box and lightly mix the balls with your hand. How do I open it? Oh, I don't have to open it. Okay. Okay. Hera. Yeah? Please pick the first ball. Oh, God. Okay. Should I read it? I did look at it. Hera. Yeah? Please read the name on the ball aloud and place it on one of the pillars with the name facing the camera. Aww. It's half wit. Oh, I don't feel good. Hera. Yeah. Please draw the second ball, read the name aloud, and place it on the other pillar so with the name facing the camera. <gasps> Noreen. Why me? I feel so bad. I feel terrible. Hera. Yeah? You have selected Halfwit and Noreen. Your joint mission with your fellow new housemates mm -hmm. is to ensure that Halfwit and Noreen are nominated for eviction next week. Okay. How you do this is up to you. Come again. My next mission is to inform them. How you do this is up to you. No, 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 no. I'm just saying you want me Hera, to do what? Yeah. You must tell B, David, Kenneth and Thomas about the joint secret mission. But you must not reveal this mission to any of the original housemates. Only the new ones. Do you understand? I just need to inform them about the fact that these two names, these two people will be evicted. Oh, I mean, um, I think um, they would go for nominations and everything. Isn't that it? Apart from passing on the details of this mission, you must not discuss nominations as per the rules of Big Brother. Do you understand? Yeah. Yeah. Only original housemates will nominate next week. Okay. And they will not be permitted to nominate new housemates. Okay. Hera? Yeah. Welcome to Big Brother. Thank you. But, but you know, please, if you don't mind, I'm, I'm, I just still need to know some stuff, which is that um, you would, like, you know, about these people, like, what's going to happen to them? They are for sure not going to be nominated and stuff. Hera. Yeah. On the floor is a hamper. Please take the hamper into the house and share it with the rest of the housemates. But you do not want me to share whatever happened here, right? You must tell your fellow new housemates about the mission but not and any of secret, the original housemates. And the secret mission is this, this information, that these two people, their names came out, so they will be nominated next week. Right? Hera, yeah. you are free to leave the diary room. It, was I right? In here? 
Where's the hamper? You told me to take something and read it out loud. Where is that? Here, you may leave the diary room. Okay, I don't need to take anything from here. You weren't. Yeah, just so that you can't talk about it. Okay. Yeah. Well, why you went in? She's got a task. I don't know. I'm not supposed to say anything. You know? We know you've got a task. No, no, seriously. It's not a task. Yeah. Just generally wow. sharing information. Where'd you been, Lisa? Mm. I was a fool. Oh, Cheers. 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 She's going to have to perform some kind of a miracle to actually get Half Wet and Noreen nominated. Uh, so unless Half Wet and Noreen are nominated for eviction next week, the new housemates, B, David, Hera, Kenneth and Tom, will face the public vote. It's not looking great for them at the moment. See how that pans out on the main show tomorrow night at 9pm and join me straight over on E4 for Big Brother's Big Mouth where we'll be celebrating Big Brother's 10th anniversary in style with a few special surprises along the way. No, no. Right, that's nice. Good to know that. Yeah. Indeed, yes. Nice, the Midlands, lovely. Uh huh. <laughs> God, so gonna have. Well, here has been given a secret mission. The mall. Oh no. The mall is always the mall. I'm not the mall anymore. I've been the mall for weeks. Now. Aww. With the glasses, so now she hasn't got glasses anymore, so she's not. The oh, is that when they called you? Oh, they called someone in today, a new person. Sorry. Okay, so yeah. Sorry, yeah, and you probably called call Kenny. Yeah, oh, no. like what did he ever do to you? Oh, I was no. quite impressed. You must have been out of the way. I was, yeah. Honestly, I had my hands on. Even I didn't expect Kenny that. Don't do that anymore. Fight for your place.